Well, hello there, my name is Yannick, and I'm the honest guide of Prague, Czech Republic, which appears to be the city that you picked for your vacation. And I'm glad that you decided to prepare for your vacation through a YouTube video. And if you're the kind of person that just likes to watch one video where everything is explained, this is the video. Transportation. From the airport, you can obviously take a taxi or get an Uber, yes we have that here, but we recommend as locals to use the public transport. It's fast, reliable and cheap. Uh, from the airport to the city center, it's gonna take like 35 minutes, you just hop on one bus, number 119, that gets you to the green metro and that will get you to the city center and that will cost you 40 Czech crowns which is like 1.5 euros, we'll get to that in the financial section. And once you're in the city center, public transport is the thing to go for. Now, if you Google transportation from the airport, you may come across something called the Airport Express, which is a bus that goes from the airport to the main train station. But it costs. Right now it's priced double, more than double than the regular public transport, and it only runs like every 30 minutes, so you will have to wait for it a lot. The regular buses run like every five minutes, so you don't need to wait in line and it's much faster. Once again, us locals, 119 to A Metro to the city center. Other points where you may enter the city can be the uh, train stations. There are actually three, maybe four. Uh, the main ones are Masarykovo Nadraji. Once you're there, you're in the city center. Uh, same goes for the main train station, Hlavni Nadraji. Please do not take taxis that stand around the station. They will most likely overcharge you. If you take a train, you're in the city center. You can easily walk to your hotel, Airbnb, and so on. Once in the city center, you can easily rely on the Prague trams and the Prague metro. There's also buses and ferries. Uh, so here's our tip. At the airport, buy either a full day or a three day ticket, validated because there are ticket inspectors, and then your trip will be hassle transportation free. Among the to-do tips, I'm gonna sometimes add a not to do, so don'ts. Uh, and in this case, it will be those hop on hop of buses. People will be offering them to you. Uh, don't use them, they're overpriced and they're just stuck in traffic. Nobody uses a bus in the uh, historical city center. Uh, and the second one are taxis that just kind of sit, hang around. Uh, Prague city center is really walkable. You don't need a taxi or just use one of these apps. So at least you know the price upfront. Now let's talk money, and I mean our money, which is the Czech crowns, Czech koruna. Uh, so we don't use euros or dollars. So it may be tempted for you to exchange whatever currency you have to our currency, but you don't really need to do that. It may be tempting because you will see exchange offices everywhere, uh, but you can just pay with your card. It's widely accepted. We are a tapping crazy nation, meaning we just tap with our card or with our phone. So if you have a card in your phone, you can easily move around. Now, if you do want some cash and you do want to use an exchange office, you have to be extremely cautious because some of the exchange offices, especially at the airport or in some touristy areas, will have very bad rates. The office may say 0% fees and commissions, but then they'll trick you on the bad rate. So please be careful. You always have three hours to uh, return back your exchange. Uh, but if I were you, I would just stick to paying with my card. Because if you don't carry any cash around, then uh, you can't lose it too, right? Now, whenever we make a video about this topic, there's two type of comments that appear below. And one is, well, I'm not stupid tourist. I exchange money before I go. So I'm gonna get my check crowns in an American bank. Well, first of all, good luck getting our currency somewhere abroad. And second, if you do have that luck to find a bank or an exchange office out of the Czech Republic that will get you Czech crowns, I can guarantee you it will be at a bad rate. So rather use our map for good exchange offices, we will link it below the video. And number two, and this is the most common regarding money and exchange offices and so on, is people always write, I'm not a silly tourist to exchange money, you know, I'm just gonna use an ATM because I can trust those ATMs. Not really, ATMs charge ridiculous fees. Uh, so if you do wanna use an ATM, always make sure to decline conversion. It's quite a complicated topic, but if you just remember to decline conversion, uh, that should keep you safe. But there will still be some fee for getting the money out of the ATM. 
And one last tip, simple, never exchange money on the street. What am I going to drink when I arrive to Prague? Well, I'll leave that up to you, but water is safe to drink. Not this one from the river, but tap water is. It's actually the most common asked question among tourists when they Google search Prague. Is tap water drinkable? Yes, it is. Any source of water that you'll see around the city, if there's a water fountain, if there's any faucet you know, from a building, it has to be drinkable water. If it's not, there has to be a sign. That's why there's a sign in the river, see? Do not drink, it's right there. Please don't drink the water from the river. And from water, we can easily transition to another favorite drink of the locals, and that is beer. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, tap beer running from our faucets at our houses, but we usually go to a pub. Uh, so try any of the local beers you will uh, find. Uh, we are the country that gave the world the Pilsner type beer. So if you want to try the original Pilsner, Pilsner Urquell it is. Czech Republic is the place to drink it. You may be surprised that when they bring you the beer, it will look like this and not like this. And you may also be surprised that it's priced quite low. Uh, as of right now, we're filming this in the summer of 23. Uh, the average price for a good beer will be around 60 crowns, which is this in euros. But I feel like I should give you crowns so you will have an idea what's going on. But not only Czech beers, you can also try the Czech wines or Moravian wines, which are from the region of Morava, or any non-alcoholic drinks like the Czech Kofola, which I actually don't like. Well, try it and tell me what you think about it. Now let's slip some honesty into this video, and that will be two things people usually get wrong about our country and our city regarding alcohol. Number one, no, we do not drink absinthe like crazy. And most of the absinthe, I would say 99%, you will see for sale in shops around the city center are not real absinthe. And they're just there for tourists. They're just very hard overpriced liquor. So do some research before you try it. And number two, and this goes out to you, young Americans, so listen to me. Uh, it is not legal to drink alcohol in public in Prague, Czech Republic. Uh, most of the streets are illegal to drink alcohol. So yes, you can get fined for it, especially if you're toasted. Now, don't get me wrong, I want you to enjoy your travels and have a good time. Just please keep in mind that if you party like crazy, try to like keep it in the club, not on the streets. There are still locals around and they will be very unhappy uh, if you, you know, wake them up at 3 o'clock in the morning or even midnight. <laughs> so partying till 3 a.m. is okay? No. <laughs> Food and what are you going to eat on your travels to Prague, Czech Republic? Well, of course, you can try the varieties of Czech foods. Usually when you search for those, you're gonna find stuff like uh, dumplings, sauce, and some meat. So here's a list of a few restaurants we can recommend. So you can freeze frame the picture now and write them down. But don't worry, if you're not into those, we have many other cuisines in Prague. I mean, Prague is a big city. So if you feel like having a pizza, a burger or whatever, you will find it here. We do get tons of questions regarding food, mostly from vegetarians, vegans, or if people have a special diet, they worry if they will find such place that will suit them in Prague. Yes, you will. Millions of people live in Prague, so there are vegans, there are people who have diets and so on. Uh, we usually also check uh, reviews before we go to a place. You should do the same in Prague because there are still a few bad rotten apples among restaurants in the city center. Or uh, what people do when I walk across the main squares, a tourist will stop me and ask me, hey, where would you go for lunch? So you can do the same and I believe the local will gladly help you. Speaking of locals and local stuff or traditional stuff, you will see one thing that will say local traditional and that is this, uh, the trdelnik. Uh, unfortunately, it's not local or traditional for Czechs, it's local and traditional for tourists coming to Czech. If there is something that is sweet and traditional to our country, it are things like these, like Vietrnik, Vienecek, Rakvička, Koláč, Indianek, and so on. So find a sweet shop with these. Uh, there are still few in the city center left and have yourself a sweet fest feast. Language. Uh, now, we do not speak English. I mean, uh, yes, many of us do, but our mother tongue is Czech. 
Uh, but don't worry, in the city center, in big cities, in touristy areas, English is obviously widely spoken. I mean, most of the people you will talk to, like people working at restaurants and hotels, many of them will not be Czechs. There'll be different nationalities, so together you'll speak in English. If you come across a place like a pub, a coffee place or a restaurant that only has a menu in Czech, maybe you came across a good place. In that case, it will be handy to have a Google Translate ready in your phone and you can easily translate stuff. I believe that learning a few phrases in our language, Czech would be polite. Uh, so when you walk into a place, you can say Dobrý den, hello. Uh, you can say děkuji, which is thank you. You can say prosím, which is please. Uh, people will smile at you a bit more. Safety. Another term that people usually search in association with Prague and they worry about it before they come. Well, you don't have to worry about it. Prague is safe. I feel like I don't even want to continue, but yes, you can occasionally uh, come across a tourist trap that will cost you a bit more. Uh, maybe sometimes you'll overpay something, that can happen. And yes, there are still some cases of pickpockets. Uh, in the crowd, yes, they can pick your wallet. Uh, if you leave your bag just hanging somewhere uh, on the um, chair in a restaurant and you leave to use the bathroom, yes, there may be a case of some theft. So that's why I said in the beginning, don't carry much cash around when it's not needed. So if that happens to you, you don't need to worry much. Two more safety tips I wanna mention uh, for you to stay safe uh, are regarding transportation kind of. Uh, the one is that we do have trams, street cars that run on the streets and not uh, all tourists are used to that. They will not stop at a crosswalk. They will not stop for you. Think of them as big trains. They're heavy, they're on tracks, so they have the right of the way. Please do not run in front of them. People do get killed by them. Better to be on the tram than under the tram, obviously. And one more thing uh, that is regarding the Lime scooters. They are illegal to be used in pedestrian zones, which is most of the city center, and sidewalks. Tourists always ride them on sidewalks and that is simply not safe because they go certain speed and pedestrians go certain speed. So if you want to use these extremely overpriced, non-ecological bullshit green scooters that were not made to be used in a historical European city, ride them on the road, not on the sidewalk, please, for everyone's safety. Once I make it to Prague, what should I do? Well, there's no easy answer to that. Uh, do whatever uh, your heart desires. I mean, it's pretty obvious you're gonna wanna see those uh, big highlights, you know, the bridge, the castle, the clock, uh, but you can do many other things. And to prove my point, there's no simple answer and you can be listening to me for hours and hours and hours talk about this city. Uh, we've been doing this show Honest Guide for, what is it now, seven years, Onza? That's crazy, man. So there are tons of videos that we covered from our city. We do day trips, we cover other cities, we cover different topics. Uh, so now, since you're already here on YouTube, you can go through our videos. There are other guides uh, that make videos about Prague. Maybe you're more into food, you're into fashion and so on. So just, uh, you know, click around and it will guide you wherever you wanna go. I know you're going to have many follow-up questions and you're gonna feel like, well, I should reach out to these guys on their Instagram or on their Facebook and ask them there. Well, the chances of us answering are slim to none because many people do that. So do this right under this video. We will try in the first few hours after uploading this to answer uh, all of your questions or maybe after that, some other locals from Czech Republic from Prague may answer whatever your question is or, or some fellow travelers that have already been here. And now the final ultimate tip for Prague. Just come here. It, it's a cool city. I, I love it. And uh, come to this place. Uh, have a beer, you know, sit down. Just enjoy the view. Kind of cool. And in the end, I always teach a Czech word in these videos. Uh, and uh, this time I'll teach you how to say a pier because we're sitting on a pier and it is Molo. Molo is a pier. And uh, there's a boat approaching the Molo. So we should leave the Molo. <laughs> I came to Czech Republic, I watched this one video, and all I can say is Molo. What is your Molo? These guys were sitting on a Molo, it has to be some good place. Uh, this place is called Chapadlo. <laughs>